or uh, Melchior chapter 5 talks about this preparations for building the temple. Now here I'm king of Tyre, which is Lebanon, and they sent his servants to Solomon when he heard that they had anointed him king in place of his father. For Hiram, all, for, it says, for Hiram always loved David. And Solomon sent word to Hiram, You know that David my father cannot build a house for, for, the, name, for the name of the Lord his God, he's of course Christ, because of the warfare with which his enemies surrounded him until the Lord put them under the soles of his feet. But now the Lord my God has given me rest on every side. There is neither uh, there is neither adversary nor misfortune, and so I, so and so I intend to build a house in the name of the Lord, my God. As the Lord said to David, my father, your son, whom, whom I will sell on your throne in your place, shall build a house for my name. Now, now therefore, command that cedars of Lebanon be cut for me, and my servants will join in your servants, and I will pay you for your servants such as such wages as you as you sit. For do you know? that there is no one among us who knows how to cut timber like the Sidoans. As soon as Hiram heard the words of Solomon, he rejoiced greatly and said, Blessed be the Lord this day, who has given to David a wise son to be over this, this great people. And Hiram sent to Solomon, saying, I have heard the message that you have sent to me. I am ready to do all you desire in the matter of cedar and cypress timber. My servants shall bring it down to the sea from Lebanon, and I will make it into, the, into rafts to, to go by sea, to the place you, you direct, and I will have them broken up there, and you shall receive it, and you shall meet my wishes by, by providing food for my household. So Hiram supplied Solomon with all the timber of cedar and cypress that he desired, while Solomon gave, yeah, while Solomon gave Hiram 20,000 cores of wheat as food for his household, and 20,000 cores of beaten oil, Solomon gave this to Hiram year by year, and the Lord gave Solomon wisdom as he promised them, and there was peace between Hiram and Solomon, and the two of them made a treaty. King, so King Solomon drafted forced labor out of, all, out of all of Israel, and the draft numbered 30,000 men, and he sent them to Lebanon, 10,000 a month in shifts. There would, would be a month in Lebanon and two months at home. Adoram was in charge of the draft. Solomon also had 70,000 burden bearers and 80,000 stone cutters in the hill country, besides Solomon's uh, 3,300 chief officers who were over the work, who had charge of the people who carried on the who carried on the work. At the king's command, they quarrel, or they quarried out great costly stones in order to lay the foundation of the house with dressed stones. So Solomon's builders and Hiram's builders and, and the men of Gibor did the cutting and prepared the timber and the stone to build the house. It was pretty interesting there. How um, so talk about the preparations for the. For, for building the temple, and how how God um, basically sent Solomon help uh, by by Lebanon, and and um, you know it's just amazing how during during here in the Old Testament how how God used Lebanon to help Israel build build you know to build the Lord's temple, and um, you know. And, and now, now you look at you know Lebanon, and Israel, and they're constantly fighting now. But, but um, it's just amazing back here in the, in the Old Testament how God used Lebanon to help send their big, huge cedar trees to Israel, so that Israel could could uh, build the Lord's house, which is you know known as Solomon's Temple. So very interesting. Chapter five is about, prepare, about preparing for the for the building of the temple. I'll be right back here with chapter 6 here in a minute.